Hey everyone, Cody here, and today we're going to be doing an abstract painting with Christmas inspired colors. So we've got, you know, dark red, light green, dark green, white, and gold. Um, this is coming off the heels of doing the abstract painting Christmas tree that I did. So I still had the colors open, didn't want to put them away, wanted to kind of use them because I thought this would be an interesting test on making an abstract painting with Christmas inspired colors, um, kind of in a hybrid method. So the method that we're going to be doing today is a Gerard Richter inspired type painting, which he does these, you know, these large scrape paintings um, with layers of color. But we're also going to be kind of mixing that by using a large sponge. So instead of a hard surface like uh, plexiglass or, you know, um, corrugated plastic to, to scrape the colors, we're going to be using uh, this large sponge. And this is a technique that I picked up from a guy named Thomas Amar. He, um, he I don't know exactly where he is in Europe, but he, he does these large abstract paintings, usually with uh, sponges. And I thought that that was a really interesting idea. So that is where I got the idea to use the sponge, but we're going to do it in the way that we would do kind of a Gerard Richter inspired painting where we go all one direction with the colors. So we're just going to, we're going to kind of test it out and see how it works. Um, hopefully it'll be, you know, pretty cool, but uh, you know, I don't, I don't know for sure. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm thinking that what we'll do is we'll probably start with one of the greens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put the colors on the sponge itself. Now I think this may work because the hard surfaces tend to leave gaps in the painting. However, the downside of using a sponge for painting, which I have learned, is that the sponge obviously absorbs the paint. So it's kind of a, you know, it's kind of a twofold thing. So we're going to go ahead and put it on there and bring this across. And we're going to, any of the gaps that it creates, we'll probably just leave. And we're going to need some more paint. And maybe I'll just kind of lay it on there. Maybe kind of try to make it a little even, right? All right, so now we've got it on there. We'll go ahead and bring it across. It's so light it wants to move the canvas. Now, Gerard Richter, I think, usually does this on flat uh, canvas, not on stretch canvas. So obviously his paintings would be a lot smoother as far as the uh, the color trail just because of that because if it's stretched you know it kind of bows in but if it's on a flat canvas it, it doesn't do that all right well that's uh that's fun anyway all right so i think that's good for that color so we're going to go and move that aside now i'm not sure what color we should move into i think maybe we'll go ahead and do gold and then we'll do the other green and then we'll do, no, I think what I'll do is I'll do the gold and then I'll do the red and then the white and then the other green. Actually, I'll do gold and then white and then green and then red. And that is actually mixing those colors, which is unfortunate because I don't want them to mix in the paint can. So we're gonna have to grab another paint thing and this time, I think we'll go down with it. And you can see that it's pulling those colors through, but it's also kind of mixing them. I think I'm pulling it too hard. There we go. And well, you guys can still see it. All right, so the, we've got a lot of gold over here, not that much gold over here. So I'm just going to drizzle some, and we'll just try not spreading it out. 
and that pretty much does exactly what you would think it would do. Puts a lot of gold in one area, but not all over the painting. Now, the problem that I think I'm going to run into is over overdoing it as far as uh, you know, do, using too much paint. So we're going to try to only go one pass from this point on. So we'll just go one pass. All right, we lost a lot of the white, so we'll try it again. Maybe I'll put them closer to our right side. Do one pass. Nope, oh, got stuck, so. Okay. All right, I, I kind of like that better. So we'll put the paint on the one side. And then we will one pass. All right, we had too much white, so I'm going to go ahead and pass it one more time, even though I didn't really want to. All right, so we're starting to get some different layers here. Um, all right, let's go ahead and do the dark green. And we'll go ahead and go down with this one. And I'm just going to barely set it on there. But I'm not going to push down very hard and kind of see what happens. All right, so if I don't push down very hard, you kind of get this, uh, this effect where it doesn't move far enough through, which makes a lot of sense. Now, let's go ahead and try putting it on the canvas instead and see if we get a different result. Pull that down. Okay, it's about the same. Yeah, it's about the same. All right, and then finally, we'll do our red. Now, I'm going to try really pushing into the canvas with the red and seeing what happens. Okay, so ultimately, I'm not a huge fan. Um, I don't know if it's that it's using too much paint or if it's just the type of paint that I'm using just isn't uh, working. Maybe I'm putting too much paint in a small area. I couldn't really say. Um, but the paint is mixing too much. I can tell you that that's why it looks as faded, I guess, as it does. Um, the problem with gloss enamel and, and using gloss enamel like I do is that it mixes very easily. So unlike acrylic, which has a little body, you know, you can kind of stack those layers or even oil, you know, oil has body to it as well. You can stack those layers very easily. Um, with gloss enamel, it's, it's not that easy because with gloss enamel, it likes to it likes to mix um, pretty easily. So that's when you kind of run into stuff like this. So this isn't going to work, I don't believe. At least not that I can see right off the bat. Um, so I'm, I am going to see if I can try to <clears throat> maybe make something that I, I would like. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and run some paint down the sides. And we're going to take that paint, we're going to go to the edge, and we're going to try to layer it. All right, and we're just going to keep kind of layering it and pulling it out as we go. So we'll do kind of the same order. I think it was gold next, so we'll do gold. We'll do a, a decent amount. 
And even if it doesn't go all the way across, that's fine. We're, we're going to keep pulling those colors over and over until they go all the way across. So you can see that those two colors pushed each other further. And I'm not pushing very hard into the paint. Um, probably like medium pressure. All right, now we're kind of starting to fill this uh, this piece here. So let's do the white. All right, got that. Gonna bring that across. Actually, I'll do the top first. Okay. Okay. So now it's starting to fill the whole thing. Um, I think we did, okay, we need to do dark green. And yeah, I could uh, flip it around and start from the other side. But then I would kind of lose the the piece, I think. And I will just kind of run these colors to the end. And there should be enough paint here that we can easily get to the end. Yep. All right. Basically... I'm pushing hard enough to pull the paint through, but not so hard that it drags against the canvas. All right. So we got a, a decent uh, little red, white, and gold painting here. We'll probably mess it up with the red, but that's life, I guess. Maybe uh, next time we'll do a painting with the really thin lines. Because that one seemed to turn out pretty good. All right, so we're just going to pull this through. All last time. Slow, even, measured lines. And I am pushing in pretty, pretty hard into the paint to kind of make sure that it gets to the end. All right, the only area that didn't really get enough paint is that one. I really don't want to go over this piece again, but if I don't pull out some of that paint, I'm, I'm going to hate it even more. Okay, that's, that's better. Okay, so ultimately this painting is done. If I keep going over it, we're going to lose more and more of the color. Um, it's very sectioned down. I can I can tell, you know, you've got the gold here and then you don't here. 
it's kind of a wash because if I go over this again, I might pull that in, but then I lose some of the distinction, right? It's just going to start gray washing it and that's just going to make it worse. So we'll, I'm going to leave it. Um, ultimately, it's not a bad painting, but it didn't turn out like I wanted to. The sponge didn't work out, but that's okay. Sometimes you try stuff, it just doesn't work out. That's all right. It does have an interesting kind of um, look to it. I don't mind the colors, actually. And uh, let me go ahead and take the gloves off, and I'll show you guys the, the painting here. So I don't mind it. I don't mind the colors, and I actually don't mind the design. Um, but I don't really like the kind of the overall look of it. It's kind of cool that the gold pulls through. This is why I really like painting with gold, because uh, it just... It just looks cool. I think it really adds like another dimension to it. Um, and you can see that it did make some some pretty small lines. So this, you know, scraping with the scraper, uh, it did kind of work. I, th I think it's just I went over it too many times. So those those paints, like I said from the beginning, they just want to mix too easily. So ultimately, not a bad painting. Uh, if you did this with acrylic, you'd probably actually have a, a much better result uh, whether you scraped it with the plastic scraper or the sponge uh, because those layers would actually stack up a little better than than they would mix kind of like this so ultimately I, i'm going to say this one isn't uh it's not a win but we did kind of test something new and sometimes that happens but anyway that's it for this video guys hope you enjoyed i will catch you guys in the next one take care god bless see you later